The lights, the cameras, the action. Yes, the leading man of India cinema himself strutted the streets of Toronto this year accompanying his beautiful wife, Karen Rao. Both are in town for the screening of her directorial debut for the film Toby Gun. Director Karen Rao tells us what inspired her to make a film on Toby Gun. One of the ideas I started off with was um, to explore the idea of class in Indian society and uh, Bombay being one of the most cosmopolitan cities in the country, it is a place where people come to forge new identities, to leave behind the past, to look to a new future. And, um, and in that, you, you know, the, the, for many years, commercial Indian cinema has peddled the idea that it's, you know, love is possible between caste and class and love conquers everything. And uh, really the idea was to see whether, you know, put to the test, how far can two people between two completely disparate classes um, go with the relationship. This entire film was literally shot as if we were a team. And that gave me a, a, a lot of confidence. Um, since it's my first time acting, I, I didn't really have uh, uh, any standard to judge if it's going to be more difficult or uh, easy. Uh, I think it was a relief because uh, I was really nervous and shy initially and I didn't have to uh, bounce off anybody else's performance. You know, I've been a fan of him since I've been, I don't know how young, since you see Andaz Apna Apna. Monica Jogra, the leading lady of Toby God, has a hard time picking between her two romancers. It's hard. Um, so I can't really compare the two. I would love to be romanced and romance again. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, that boyish smile, those dreamy eyes, and college boy hair, Amir Khan. This time around plays second to the leading role. However, tells us why he thought Tiff was appropriate for the debut of his wife's film. So I think film festivals primarily, primarily are a, a better platform for audiences outside of India. But for audiences within India, uh, <coughs> in fact, a lot of distributors in India joke about films will go to festivals. So when you have a poster and you have these leaves, you know. So, so, it's for, so the distributors joke that that's a sure short way of telling the audience not to come to a film. Or the, <laughs> when the audience sees those leaves, they're like, okay, this is a thing you have to avoid. <laughs> like the charmer he always is, Amr tells us how he fell in love with Kieran all over again during the course of the film. It's one of the best scripts that I've read. Uh, it's so delicate and beautiful. The characters are so well written, the lines are so well written. And each line that she's written to each character is so unique. I mean, her characters speak in such a different and unique voice. And all of that hit me and I was like, wow, I married to a really talented woman here. <laughs> so, I, didn't, I, I, mean, I didn't know about that. You know, when, when I fell in love the first time, I didn't know how really talented she was. I, I didn't know because it was like behind this curtain while she was working on it. So when I read the script, I was like, you know, I was really amazed. And uh, so that's, that's what I meant when I said that I fell in love with her all over again. The film is certainly taking a toll over the festival and is all set for release in the coming year. We wish Amir, Kieran, and the entire team of Toby Got the best of luck.